there are several commands for echoing out or spitting out the contents of a file. The most popular one is the cat command. That one was originally intended for concatenating two files. That's why when you issue the cat command and name two arguments that are two files, it will put both of them on the screen for you one after the other. However, most people use the cat command just to echo out the contents of a single file, one file. There's another, there's two more commands that do basically the same thing, except they echo out the beginning portion or the end portion of a file. That's the head command and the tail command. The tail command is particularly useful for following system files that are updated by the system. For example, let's say the Apache web server has an error log file and you want to monitor it in real time. What you could do is issue a command like this one, tail minus F or dash F, that's the F flag. And by the way, it could be a capital F uh, that does a slightly different thing. And then the name or the whole file specifier for the file that you want to tail, starting from the root directory all the way to the name of the file. And if you want to do a tail on a file that you are editing yourself, you can just open another terminal window to edit the file. You could edit it using nano or something and then keep the original window open, the original terminal window open, and the tail command will keep running. And you will see the lines that you are adding at the end of the text file appearing in the terminal window where you ran the tail command. To exit out of a running tail command, just issue the control C. Hit control key on your keyboard and a C, and that'll terminate a running tail command. We're looking at the man page for the tail command. Basically, the two most common flags or options used with tail are the F and the N. The F, I just showed to you what that does. The N is to tell it that whatever number you give here is a line number, and it's going to spit out things in terms of lines. Tail is able to work in terms of bytes or blocks also besides lines, okay? Now, here is an example. Okay, this one is an example of spitting out the last two lines of a file. The default, if you issue the tail command with nothing, just write tail and then the name of the file you want to tail, it'll spit out the last 10 lines, which is the equivalent of this. 